often when we're trying to understand things that we don't really understand, the process of connecting. So you hear me saying something, you go, oh, like I'm going to try and connect with this and try and feel into this. You try and grab the energy for yourself and kind of absorb it into your system. And the interesting thing about the teaching of enlightenment, the teaching of the unborn mind, the teaching of Zen, is that there's no need to connect to anything. You already have the same mind as everyone else. There already are no beings. There already is nothing happening. There already is nothing arising. So that's why it's such a strange, difficult thing to realize. Seeking, actually, is the very thing that stops you from discovering it. If you stop seeking, then it becomes very, very easy. Same with clinging, being ignorant. <laughs> so, it's just a very interesting paradigm where it's like, you want to realize a mind which has no seeking, but that very desire, the very like seeking to be happy, is the thing that's making you unhappy. And it doesn't just apply to seeking enlightenment, it applies to seeking everything. Any level of seeking, everything is seeking. Everything is always seeking the same thing, and that same thing is the relief of suffering, freedom from suffering, happiness, being comfortable, not being discomfortable anymore. Um, and it's like, there's no process or method to get to the final point, because there's no, all processes and methods are just empty transformations of mind of that non arisingness but like it's really fucking hard to realize but once you do you're in a good place bye